<laughs> Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, number 79. I know what he said, but what I, I heard know. was, round I up. I too. I was waiting for a dinner <laughs> bell. Oh, can we start with the dinner bell every time? It'd be amazing. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. We'll have Jim Slash on. He's coming in March. The brisket challenge. He's coming in March. Tell him to bring some brisket. We'll do a brisket challenge. Oh, that'd be fun. We'll use a katana. <laughs> katana. <laughs> oh, katana. <laughs> Samurai delicatessen. <laughs> so if we eat brisket, be amazing. So if we eat brisket and we cut it with a katana, do we have to sing, Oh, katana, don't you die for me? <laughs> 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 and yes, because it comes from Texas with a knife. <laughs> in your knee. <laughs> We've had enough knives in people. Yeah. I'm still healing up over here. It's not bad. It's better than it was. Yeah. 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 Welcome to the show, guys. We've got five great items to get through. Of course, we have some business to take care of. And the first, make sure you're asking questions today. For real. It helps the show Come along. On. Ask Molly other questions. She will try to remember them <laughs> and, and, and tell us about them. So uh, we, we can, you know, we have some cool items to show so you today. I'm to remember them. I mean, I'm sure it's hard. It's between two things, between... Oh, what? Between YouTube and Facebook going at the same time, she's watching both. Ooh, to try to keep up with both, that's kind of hard. <laughs> we gave away a buck slick, slim select last week. Yes, we did. Yes, last on Tuesday. the Lawrence Welk show. Was it Tuesday? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> because it's Tuesday today. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Chris Williams won that. He Go was Chris. excited this morning at like 6.45. He was like, I can't believe it. Oh, that's a good knife. He should have been excited. So his thing will probably go out today or tomorrow, so you'll get that in your house really quick, Chris. Congratulations again. In case you don't know about that on this show, we give away something a lot. We give away lots of stuff, period. Yeah. That budget's pretty big. Should be. As well it should, yes. We like to give stuff away. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, we're giving away a free Benchmade sharpener. Yes, we are. On every single Benchmade auto purchase until supplies run out. Yeah. So buy a Benchmade automatic. Get a sharpener with it. And a it's made branded sharpener. It's a good little sharpener. It is a good sharpener. It's the yeah. metal one, right? Yeah. It's the yeah. It's not like the pocket sharpeners that you see that are plastic or the little pull throughs that are nothing. This is a pull through that's really yeah. been well thought out. It, it is, and it's again, it's Benchmade branded, so you can show your your brand love, and uh, it's nice. Yeah. So if you buy a Benchmade Auto, you're gonna get one of those for free. Guess what ships tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> subscription boxes. They do! February box goes out, leaves the warehouse tomorrow. They should ship clean probably by about 1 o'clock. You get hate mail from the warehouse. It happens. <laughs> Good. I just, so what? You're miles away. They're Come like, and get it. You're like, just stop. Just stop. We thought we had time off. No, no time off. I'll say this, and, and this is just me talking. Wow, that went right down on the floor. I'm about to get that in a second. Uh, Wait, my, my, my drink. Oh, that's not good. Was it a topic least on it? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it's not going everywhere. Um, I know what's in this next here. box. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> like paper mache. <laughs> It'd be great. <laughs> I know what's in this box this time, and I was kind of shocked at how many things are in this box. There's lots of pointy stuff. There is lots of pointy stuff. Lots of pointy stuff. It's going to be exciting. I don't want to ruin the secret. No, no, no. Heck no. We will, of course, put together an unboxing video and probably drop that next week. Yeah. So give everybody time to get your box and look at it. So when you get your box in, do your own unboxing video and tag us in it. We'd love to see it. Sure. Absolutely. You want uh, to watch know the one thing that I actually watch? What's that? It's those unboxing videos <laughs> that the fans put out. I hardly watch anything else that, that gets posted. Yeah. I watch those. They're fun. I They're enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of good people do that. Big Red, Big Red EDC does some. For sure. Jimmy Slash does some. Uh, just good stuff right there. In that corner, right down there. <laughs> down lower, Jason. Lower, like right. Yeah, like down there. Eight two six four three. New SMS. We are going to send out discounts each week. Last two weeks. Last three weeks have been. Yeah, that are not showing up anyplace else. Yeah. So if you have a mobile phone and you get text for free. Go sign up. Yeah. Because there's no, it, Sean's lost his mind. Yeah. And Josh is helping him lose his mind, and there's stuff in there that it pops up, and I'm like, for real? That's the that's what we're selling it for? Nope. Do you think All I right. can open this without spraying it everywhere? Go for it. Like, it fell on the floor. Oh, that was yeah, wimpy. Yeah, bad. But it sat there here, for Give it here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a full-on Formula right. One win. <laughs> Spread it's Guys Dog Knives again! <laughs> Woohoo! Everything's it's, sticky. It's the 100th episode. <laughs> oh, 
Anyhow, is it? no. Oh. <laughs> We're getting close though. We are. Yeah. I guess it's the live number too. Oh sure. That be the hundredth live should we'll retire really way. really quick. Of course, we're putting stuff back out on podcast. We had a little issue with that. If you haven't seen them come across the podcast, yes, uh, we had a little bit more show than we had storage yes. for the month of January. So I'm going to put those out. But as we've crossed into February, I can start doing that again. And probably going to up the amount of storage we are, yes. that we have so we can put the podcast back out there. So, Pete Quilina, don't fret. Do not fret. You will have your podcast back for your truck drives. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you want to get into this? Oh, no. I have, I have business. Uh, you got business. Tell me I the business. I talked to two of our, our viewers today. Really? Yeah, I talked to Penny and Jim. Nice. They're from Washington State. Cool. So, Penny and Jim, hey, good to talk to you guys this morning. Jim, Penny. They're very nice. They, they placed the order in. Is she watching? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Rock on. Nice. Yeah. Good people. Cool. Very cool. It's always cool when we make that connection. It. That's kind of been the funnest thing. It's certainly been the funnest thing at Blade Show last year was the folks who watched the show and were like, oh, I've been putting faces with names. Well, it was weird even when we went up and uh, John and I went out to uh, Oregon last sure. year for, uh, for Shot Blade, Show, for Blade yeah. Show West. Yeah, um, Zach of Zach Stuff stopped me in the lobby and said, Andy! That's very <laughs> Which is cool. such a strange feeling. Because well, really you is. feel like you should know that person too and yes. you just don't. And you're like, I have no idea. I don't know. I, I don't know this? whether I'm supposed to know or not know. That's it just right. gets it gets into a place That's where you're right. like, okay, hey. But it, it has been one of the funnest things about yes. doing these is, is getting to, even just digitally, getting to meet you guys and actually kind of hang yeah. out either online or sometimes in person. Yeah. Let's jump in. We've got a bunch of cool stuff. we got five yes, items on the table. Um, I'm especially Whoa. a fan of this little bad boy right here. Well, you're a fan of anything with a Warncliffe blade. Uh, yeah, that's true. And this is like a cleaver and a Warncliffe had a, a baby. It's a chunky. This is the Warn Cleaver. From little it. heifer of a knife. Honey badger. I love it. This is the large version of this? Is yes, there, it is. Is there a medium version of this? Is there a medium version of that? Yes. Yeah. Nice. There's a large, there's a medium, but there is not a small. I'm about to say, there's not a small to Warncliffe, though. Warn Cleaver. I... I I like anything Honey Badger does. They, the action that they've really got good. on these, to me, it's fantastic. Uh, the flipper works great. If you like to flip. Here's the thing. The action is good. The handles feel great in your hand. That honeycomb pattern, mm -hmm. just nice and grippy. Yep. They've always got lots of jimping, mm -hmm. good places to put your fingers. And the price point's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, that knife is 63 bucks. Yeah. And, and this, that is a lot of knife. And this is the D2 bucks. version, right? Yeah, that's the D2 and version. And that's why that price is there. And I think there's some ACR versions that are a little bit less. A little bit less, yeah. yeah. So let's look at this. For sure. Ding. So it's a 3.6 D2 worn cleaver blade with a satin finish, 0.118 inches thick. It has a manual flipper with a thumb hole and a ball bearing pivot. That's the same way as just about any of the Honey Badger series. You have that ball bearing pivot. Uh, liner lock, blue honeycomb textured FRN handles, ambidextrous tip up pocket clip, lanyard hole, 4.6 inches closed, 8.25 inches overall, and it weighs 4 ounces. Yeah, I, I just, I, there's a nice bit of jimping that runs here mm -hmm. on the actual knife itself and up onto the spine. That makes a good thumb ramp to yeah. hang on to this thing. I like that the hole's big enough to really get your finger into to flip this thing. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that hole is big enough to almost get my middle finger all the way through. Sure. And it's fantastic that way. You've got a nice finger toy right here if you did want to choke up, but you don't really need to because this handle is a good sized handle. Well, I mean, just, around the liner lock, you've got that little bit of a, of a ridging on the liner lock too. Right. So, uh, they, they put a lot of thought into how this was going to feel in your hand. I absolutely love the little honey badger on the blade. Of course. Little honey badger. Mark D2 on this blade right here. You know, I'd never notice a honey badger on the pocket flip. There Flip he, it over. There he is. Yes. Yeah, I had never, honey never seen that on there until just now. So he right outside your pocket. You, right. got, you got a honey badger on your pants. <laughs> what, what is that honey badger I see? <laughs> you forget you have that Sir, knife. Sir, please step away from my honey badger. <laughs> That's like, don't touch the honey badger. <laughs> That's right. Honey badger don't care. I think this knife is great, and uh, yeah. we're going to cut with it just to see. That second. is a big... Meaty. I want to see it while you're finding paper. That's fine. It's a big meaty blade too. I mean, that thing just is is wanting to cut. Yeah. That's nice. You know, it's fun to play with it on camera. Just a second. I'm gonna roam because that's what we can do now. Roam. You know, we we're directing our own show. You do what we want. That's right. Honey yeah, badger, don't care. I just I, I love everything about that and that whole series. You've got the claw nail. We had, of course, we were the first ones to have the honey badgers. 
off of Amazon. They were selling their own stuff on Amazon. We were the first ones to have them as, as a production run. Um, and just uh, love. Oh, there you go. Love that texture. <laughs> we Let's have upped this. the chopping we game. Have. I, I, I remember seeing this the other time I was in there. Let's just see what happened. Just a meaty blade. Nice. You were going to cut that. No. Oh, you are. No. I mean, that's... we're going to have to get you a pad to put under that. Some neoprene <laughs> need, or something. Need a cat and cutting pad. It just oozes uh, neosporin on the That'd other side. Amazing. Just in case. Let's see if after that carb works. It's a beast, man. It's a beast yeah, of a knife. I'm just always shocked at how super sharp they are. Yeah. Especially the price point that you see from Honey Badger. It's just really nice. And we can guarantee that we didn't sharpen anything on the table. Right. Because we don't do that well at all. And if we don't lazy. see any scratches on the blade, yeah. then I personally didn't sharpen it. Well, and here's the thing. Why would I sharpen it when I can go downstairs <laughs> and get exactly. it sharpened? Exactly. Somebody asked me the other day, they were like, well, that knife looks really good. Where do you how, where do you use to sharpen that? And I said, well, his name's Fletcher. That's right. And I go downstairs and say, hey, man. And he sharpens my knife for me. I'm not going to do it. I'm lazy. Uh, and like if you came into the store, though, it's $5 a blade, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Five? I think it was less than that. I'm anyway, it's sure. not much. It's not much. I yeah. think it's $5 per blade. And, they and do they'll an do kitchen job. knives. They'll do whatever you got. Yeah. That's the Honey Badger Warren Cleaver. It is a brand new knife from Honey Badger. Um, I will tell you this. they These have moved quickly across the yes. country so if you want one get them now because they're going to go they're just going to go people we already have more on order yeah if i remember correctly yeah I think just, already has an order. it just is what it is it's yeah. a knife that people really really like and they're into it that is the something new do you think that if, for me yeah. the name pulled me in before i even held the knife sure why not I mean, I know, I know get, this is how it hooked Jared. When you, Honey Badger, of course, and then you get a name like Warren Cleaver on the top of that, you want to know what that is. Yeah. That to me is that Hogue Knives funky, Probably kind of, that tortoise yes. face thing that yes. we always yes. point out. Yeah. Uh, just plus, it's, for me, it's just a great fidget spinner. For me, I'll be able to sit there and do that with it. Uh, and you know what trouble I have with Spyderco, right? Yes. And I can do that with yeah. that, and I just. That's a good knife. You know, I think I do good more knife. of that than I do cutting with knives. <laughs> okay, so when you take your knife out of your pocket every night, uh -huh. do you flick it open sure? before you put it away? Of course I every do. Every time. Is it to make sure that it's clean? No. No, it's just because it's a fun sound. That's right. And I, I, walk, I walk in my office at the house, and last night it was a tomahawk. Pulled it out and went, flink! Closed it back up and it went on the shelf. Well, so we have sitting in the kitchen and I pick, we have a big bowl of knives. I know it sounds ridiculous, but literally that's, it's like, like the last fruit. place I sit down Some and have a cup of have coffee. Nuts, knives. Do what I do, pick a knife from the bowl. Sure. And go on. But still, sometimes I'll just sit in the kitchen drinking a cup of coffee and I'm just picking out a different knife, flicking it, <laughs> flicking it, flicking that's it awesome. just for the fun of it. That is the something new. We're going to get into the bargain of the week. Ooh. Yes. And another one of those that has the action that you can just uh, I'm telling you. Um, you know this knife. This is a mini Griptilian. This is a Mel Pardue design. It's here because it's on sale. And I'm telling you, there is something about getting a Benchmade for under 90 bucks, yeah. or right at 90 bucks, that you really just can't turn so, down. So, yeah, this one originally was $115. Yep. And we've got it on for $89.99 right now. And the reason that happens, first of all, you all need to understand just flat sure. out, Benchmade is a map price item. Yeah. Minimum advertised price. So if it's put out there yep. on the web, in a newspaper, wherever you advertise this thing, you cannot lower the price if you want to continue being a Benchmade dealer. Sure. When you can lower prices is when they have discontinued an item. So this particular Mel Pardue mini grip with the steel that's in it, with the handle composition that it is, is no longer going to be produced by Benchmade. So yep. it gave us the ability to lower the price substantially. Substantially. And it, the nice thing is it's not like we just go buy four or five. Right. We buy bunches of them. And Benchmade, you know, drop ships them here to us, and then we get them ready to sell. Right. And uh, somebody upstairs that's neither one of us goes, hey, we can sell this for this price. And we do a little dance of joy. And uh, then we're able to put that up online for a, a big, big discount. So like Andy said, this is originally 115 Right now it's eighty nine ninety nine, so 90 bucks um, for a Benchmade Griptilian with S30V still. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of fantastic. Um, so it's a 2.91-inch. S30V drop point blade with a black DLC finish. Love the DLC finish from Benchmade. Yes. 
Um, it it is as smooth a finish as I've ever felt on a knife. It is as close to Cerakote as I think you can possibly get. I, no, that's a good point. Right? Yes. And, and it's a DLC stands for diamond-like coating. So this yes. is going to be tough to knock off of this blade. You have to work at it. Yeah. It's 0.1 inches thick, thumb stud opener with an axis lock, uh, desert tanned comp uh, composite handle with steel liners, ambidextrous step-up pocket clip, 3.9 inches closed, 6.8 inches overall, and weighs 2.6 ounces. Made in the USA. Eight, I'm going to start over. Made in the USA by Benchmade. So here's the thing on this. I, I put composite handles in the description because I could not find, because it's discontinued, I want to say it's actually Grivery. I, I don't I know, and I'm pretty sure it is, but I don't know, right. and I could not find that on their site at this point. So yeah. I do know it is a composite material, whether it's Grivex or Grivery. I have no idea. I do not think it's GRN think or that RFM. Mini Grip Tillion line was all Grivery, yeah. but don't quote me on that. Exactly. That's why I didn't want to mislead anybody sure. with what's there. It is composite, which makes it really, really light. Yeah. The other thing about these mini grips, at least in this format, they have steel liners. Mm -hmm. And so they stay really, really strong, but still stay pretty darn light. That's only three ounces. I mean, you just can't beat that. Yeah, I like that they have the jumping here on the on both sides of yep. the inside, including the liner lock. Or, I'm sorry, there's no liner lock here. So you have your steel liner comes out and gives you a little bit more grip. Yeah. Right about there, and there's that Mel Pardue right on the back. I, I really, really like the Griptilian. I like the Mini Grip just as well. Thumb stud in the right place. Mm -hmm. Easy to open, easy to close. Uh, great one-handed action. You don't have to, you know, don't have to get in a rush. Mm -hmm. Just a nice, easy open right. on that knife. I like it. Um, it's a good size for your pocket as well. It is. The Mini and Grip is a great size for your pocket. It's Ninety bucks is a good size for my wallet, especially for a USA made bench made. Yeah. I dig it. Yep, yeah, that is the bargain of the week, even though it is 90 bucks. That's yeah, still heck That is it, right there. I like it. Boom! Yes. You can get that in a rough ride get free shit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll loosen it up for you. Thank you. <laughs> These are a beast. I mean, you're not losing your knife out no. of your Kydex sheet no. from Tops. I'm going to tell you that right now. Leo and Craig are over there going, hey, let's make this stronger. They right do here. not play around, man. Do that, not F with us. That this is staying is, right here. That Kydex is for real. This is the Tops Poker. It is probably the most different looking Tops that I have seen in a yeah. very long time. And I learned from the lovely Melina over there that this is a Kiridashi style blade. A kiridashi is well. a traditional Japanese knife that they use yep. for almost everything. They would wear it in their sleeve, mm -hmm. pull it to cut food, to it do whatever exactly during the day. Is. But that yes. is definitely a kiridashi blade on that with a karambit style handle. So just a nice little utility yeah. piece. Yeah. That's also very stabby, stabby, pokey, pokey. Yeah. That's why they call it the poker. Exactly. So, with the poker, what you're looking at is a 2.5 inch 1095 carbon steel modified Warrencliffe blade. It has an acid rain finish. I love that finish. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Kind of worn in, kind yes. of hand forged. I dig it. Uh, 0.13 inches thick, full tank construction. I mean, there's All more the tang than out blade. To that, yeah. Um, it has a it has double screw rivets. It has triple screw rivets. I'm sorry, that's on the, that was on. Oh, the it is. Yeah, triple screw we'll rivets fixed. on that natural canvas macarta handles. But look at that tanned piece. canvas macarta handles. Look at the black. Under I know there. It, it just makes. I it don't pop. know how they're doing this. They're probably just layering black right on top of. You remember I the liners seen. were there for a long time, and now it's not a liner. It's literally part it's of part the, of the macarta. Yeah, that's awesome though. I wonder if it's two separate dime processes. I'm, I, I would guess that you were just taking. They have to be right. Well, are is it dyed or is this just stacked? sandwiched together? Yeah, mm. like G10. So you know how G10 you layer G10. Can you not layer macarta? Okay, so you dye this macarta first, and, and all the black gets dyed. Then you dye the and then you put it together. You could, and if it is, it's whoever awesome. trims that down did one hell of a job. Yes, because it's even on both sides. Yeah, that's very very cool. Yes. Um, Triple screw, uh, triple screw rivets, finger ring, kydex sheath with a beta loop so you can go horizontal, vertical, yep. upside down, diagonal, cattywampus, yep. whatever you got to do. Um, it is almost 7 inches overall, weighs 3.6 ounces, made in the USA. Of course, you get the survival whistle. <laughs> I, I like it. It's interesting for sure. There's something very nice about that finger ring. On any karambit. Yeah. 
And especially after Melita mentioned that, I hadn't thought about it, but yeah, that's a that's a Karadashi. So you have this this nice little utility blade. But that's again, it's good for anything. So did you notice too though that not only do you have the nice utility blade, the shape of the handle and where you put your hand naturally gets your knuckles out of your cutting way. Yes. Yeah. So if you if you put this on, you're going to be able to make that flat cut. That's the biggest problem with a Warren Cliff. I don't know if you know this. It, it yeah. is it is the biggest problem with a Warren Cliff is when the blade is flat against you begin to bang your knuckles mm -hmm. into whatever. So if this is not curved this way, then you are literally just cracking your knuckles trying yes. to do that. Do it. That's well, all you use it as the name implies, sir. What do you mean? Poke, Poke it. See? It's not going to be that stabby stabby. I think you're wrong. I think it doesn't taper quickly enough, but it certainly is great in utility this way. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That's a groovy, groovy little knife. Groovy. I like that. I almost got a table just then. I'm telling you, we're going to have to get something to put on that. That's pretty cool. It gives you a good feel. Give it a cut. I think Hogue needs to send us a uh, Don't get yourself. one of your mats. Don't do it. Just, it is, it is a little beast of a knife. Yeah. And just leaves it as clean as it can be. It's nice. Stabby, and I disagree stabby. on the, on your, on well, my ideal, assessment of the stabby, the stabby, stabby, stabbiness. Because it seems that it does a pretty good job. Yeah. I'll dig it. It's nice. What's the price point on this one? Uh, Eighty-six ninety-nine, so eighty-seven. That's pretty good on the top, right? Yeah. USA made brand from tops. If you are looking for a small fixed blade EDC, yeah, that's just an all-around good knife. It's going to be out of the way and kind of hidden, and kind of not really noticeable. That's a pretty good option because you could hook that on your belt or on a strap on a backpack. You could full on wear that around your neck, and it's not that big. Oh, you completely could. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kill myself. You're gonna have to get used to the sheath. That is true with any every tops. I'm just telling you right almost now. Almost any Kydex they, sheath. They, they are making sure that their... knife is not going anywhere. Um, I wish. My only wish would be that this little piece right here was a little bit wider so you put to put my thumb them. on yeah. when I pop that out. Yep. Um, but I think after you got used to it, especially if you have this beta loop really tightened down on a belt, you're gonna have enough resistance just to pop that out. Um, I mean, you could wear that. Full up scout carry on the on the back yep. of your pants, mm -hmm. and never know it was there. That's true. It is very light. Uh, let's give a shout out to Leo and Craig though at Tops. They're doing a new podcast. Did you know really? that? Yeah, they're doing a daily grind. And from oh, what no, I understand, I um, it, it is just a podcast right now. But cool. from what I understand, that it is going to grow into more. Good for them. Yeah, so. I'm going to go. I'm going to go subscribe. Yes. Speaking of Craig, you know he's going to design that, right? Craig Powell designed this. Yes. Really? Go, on. Yes. Go Craig. I didn't know you were that talented. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, that's really cool. I did not know that at all. So Craig Powell, who you've all seen a million times show you top stuff, who is now, I believe, the general manager of tops. I'm pretty I think sure. You're right. Yeah. Um, is is the designer on this too. Watch listen to their podcast. The thing is bad, I'm gonna forewarn people because I I will forget this if I don't say it out loud. If you don't like cussing, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can Don't see listen because yeah. it is what it is. That they're just they just let it all hang out. We're like the G-rated version of the knife world here at SMKW. Uh, they're going to tell you me, some great stories. We're editing stories. ourselves before we speak. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, we are. Um, <laughs> every word we say. But there is. You want to talk about a place that I can lose an hour downstairs in the showroom? Oh yeah, is the top counter because something there's something so everything's so different. So I have a buddy named Keith. Keith, if you're watching, hey, he's from Mississippi, uh -huh. and uh, he's he is the chaplain for the local police department mm -hmm. in the town he lives in. He's a he's a pastor, so he came in. He wanted to buy a fixed blade for his vest, and we looked at every counter in the showroom that day when he came in. Mm -hmm. I kid you not, we were there for 45 minutes at the top counter. Wow, playing with knives and going, I just don't know that I can spend that kind of money, right? And me going, yeah, but it's a top. It's gonna last forever. <laughs> it's gonna last great forever. Yeah, great customer service. You could you could lose it down an elevator shaft. Go and get it six years later. It's still gonna be fine. Well, I will say this about the podcast that's out there, the ones that are out there right now. I listened to the first one and the second one and the third one the other day while I was doing all this editing that we sure. had to do, and uh, just put it in my headphones. 
you get to hear the origin stories of Tops from the people who started. That's way it. cool. And it's a very cool just to hear some fun stories. So yeah. go find that out there. I think you can find it through Tops Facebook page and that kind of stuff, and or the Tops site. Uh, but it's called the Daily Grind. It is from Tops. I, I love it. Woo, woo, woo. Of course, Any you know point. me. Anytime a new podcast comes up, I'm excited. Question. Did you hear that Tops is releasing a, another another version of the Little Bugger? I have not heard that. I haven't either. I wonder if they're going to call it the Bigger Bugger. <laughs> the Bigger Bugger. I think Boo. we should make that request and call it the Bigger Bugger. We should write to Craig and say, hey, Craig, <laughs> could you make it the Bigger Bugger? The Little Bit Bigger Bugger? I love that knife. If, if you've not, oh, if, if, yes. so it is as close to uh, a high-end version, a premium version of my Tough Light as you can possibly get. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's a yeah. fixed blade version of that Completely. from Tops that is thicker, stronger, oh, and a, just, it's a, it's a beast. beast it's a beast, but it's little. It's yeah. a little bugger. Yes. They said, li they, did, they didn't do little, though. They, they didn't skip out on the, they didn't do lil. No, no, no. Yeah. They did yeah. the full. Little. They didn't discount that ITT. Yes. That's exactly little. right. Or that TT and the E. Had to put him away. I'm ah, telling you. It's not a little bugger. Had to it's put him a home. little bugger. You move on to your buck. <laughs> Pocket Candy Modern right here from Buck. This yeah. is, we've shown an 840 select, uh, Sprint Select on the show before. Um, this is a new color of this mm -hmm. particular knife. Uh, I can show it to you down here, guys. It's, it's a pretty nice little knife. So this is the Blue 840 Sprint Select Liner Lock. 3.125 inches, 420HC clip point blade with a stone wash finish, 0.12 inches thick, manual flipper with a ball bearing technology, liner lock, GFN handles, ambidextrous deep carry stainless steel pocket clip, 4.4 inches closed, 7.5 inches overall, weighs 3.2 ounces, made in USA by Buck. So it's 420HC, so you're going to get that quality uh, Buck yeah. 420HC. It's going to hold up to quite a bit. You're going to have to take care of it some. What I want to point out is a couple of different things. Look at that spacer. Yes, a nice pop. A nice pop of blue right there in the back. These these GRN handles are just gorgeous. It's almost a honeycomb pattern in there. And then you've got this nice carved area here that feels really good in your hand. And then the other thing that I wanted to point out while I was here, look at that pocket clip. Yeah. So it will go either way. Um, and it will stay right there on top. But that is a super deep pocket clip. Without any extra holes or anything being drilled in your knife, which yeah. is one of the things that I really dug about that design. Yeah, no, that's that was a that's a cool idea from Buck right there. Look also, at that blade. Oh yeah, it almost has a harpoon. Almost bump to the top. Yeah, it has a nice spot for you to get up on there. A little bit of swedging on the top edge. Yep. Not edge, excuse me. No, no edge. A little bit of swedging on the top line of that blade on, on the, the spine. spine. I'll get my words out in a minute. <laughs> I threw myself off when I said edge. I was like, I no, no, God, no. Not no. an edge. Definitely not an edge. Um, what I you can't noticed... sell it to half the world. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, New York is screwed. Sorry. Yes. California, don't even look at this knife. They've done a great job with the pivot in this thing uh, and all of these um, yeah. sprint selects. And, and I know, I always wonder why they picked the word sprint because it's not... A sprint run. A sprint run. Sure. If they mean sprint because of that ball bearing technology. <laughs> it sprints out of the handle and open. Though so every time I see it, I think it's I a pick sprint. up the phone to call Tony and say, "All right, when can we launch these?" Yeah. No, idiot. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little knife. Yeah. No, it's, it's a great little knife. Um, again, I'm like you. I like that little ridge right there, where it is right where your thumb hits, mm -hmm. and it just feels it feels great. Good looking knife. Kind of high end feel. You don't. To a, a kind of inexpensive knife. It's fifty bucks. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's fifty yeah. bucks made in the USA, which is. Sure. I mean, that's, that's right tremendous. now. If you look across the market, fifty bucks made in the USA is about as low as it's gonna go. Yeah, it's tremendous, and I tell you, it has those upgraded pieces on a knife. Again, you have that that little bit of a bevel to the uh -huh. that swedging on top of the blade and makes it look really really good. This this pop of blue back here is like wearing a good pair of socks. <laughs> Know what I mean? <laughs> I do. Feel good on your feet? That's the best place to have. No, no, it's a pop of color. Oh. You, it's the best place to have a pop of color if you have to wear a suit or a pair of slacks with a white shirt. Right. Then you wear a pair of bright colored socks. That One of my old bosses, Bill yeah. Brennan, I know he's not watching, but um, his socks yeah. were always out, just outrageous, just audacious bright socks. And it was a little bit of a pop of color. 
couldn't beat it. To tell my sock story because you brought it up. So I did laundry. I bought these new. When I wear, I wear boots all the time, I sure. wear actual leather cowboy style boots all the time. I love them, but I cannot stand for my sock to be down in my boot. Yes. So I get tube socks. So basically, over the calf, they I was hoping you literally were you had sock garters. No, that I literally just get those. But I got these new supposedly moisture wicking fancy tube sure. socks, right? Because I don't want the feet to sweat. I don't want the stink to happen. I don't want any of that. The, the boots are getting to be four years old. Let's get the nice socks in them. So I dry these things. And uh, I guess I dried too long or too hot because a tube sock became a tube sock. Yes. But the thing about it that's For crazy a small is. Child. <laughs> but the thing about this crazy thing is, is I take the sock and I go, pull, 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 pull. pull. Tube sock. Back to where it was. Yes. <laughs> not too tight, not whatever. Fit, fits just like it was first. But when I saw those come out of the dryer and they were like, where did these baby socks come from? Have I ruined a whole set of brand new socks? <laughs> that would suck so, so bad. So something in there makes them shrink when they get a little too hot. Is that wicked? They sucked up all the moisture. I guess in the house. so. They sucked up all the moisture and the thing. They did. And then they just they went. dry instantly. Um, the thing, you don't think with Buck, you don't think Flipper. You also normally no, don't, don't think a lot of liner lock. I think they did a great job with this I knife, so especially at 50 bucks. You can't beat it. <laughs> no, That's right. a nice piece of pocket candy yeah. right there. There are other versions of this on the website, so just type in Buck Sprint Select. Yeah. You will see there's a marine version. Remember that one that was gray with yes. the red pivot? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Are we sure that's ambidextrous? Um, I kept staring at it like I was going to lose my mind, and I'm almost positive it probably is not. Because if I take this off and reverse it, it goes in the wrong place. My engineering mind, which does not have a degree, it is not ambidextrous. It is not. Nope. No. Can't be. Boo. It's I was removable. It is removable easily, but no, it's not ambidextrous. I mean, because of the way it sits. It's going to be close though. No, because it's going to, when you flip it, it's going to stick off that way. Yes. Well, yes, you're, you're right. Yeah, it's going to stick off the yeah. wrong way. You're right. You and I think it's right. going to clear past the blade at that point. Interesting. We may take that off and see. Yeah. We'll see. Yes. We don't know. We may flip that around and see what is there. But 50 bucks from Buck at a 420HC. That yep. is the Pocket Candy Modern right there. Right? You give us a little tool. Was that kit. the EDC or the Pocket Candy Modern? That was Pocket Candy Modern. Modern. It's hard to say. It is. We need to get a little tool kit. We've with got some torx heads and, and, some, and some small Phillips, and just keep it on here, because then we could just pop that sucker off. That's a, that's a little torque. It's just Phillips, isn't it? A little torque. Keep talking for a okay. second. I'll be right back. Because, I, yeah, I I'm like you. I think, that would just, I think that would just come directly off and stick the wrong direction. And then it would look goofy. You could still put it in your pocket that way. I think we should send this to Lefty Harrington. And he's got to wear it with that pocket clip reversed for a week. <laughs> Two weeks, you can relearn anything. Two, two weeks. Is that the idea? You lefties just keep uh, just keep working at it. Just just use your hands Let's right. That's all I we're saying. See if I can fit one of these. There. Not that we're gonna spend the whole time doing this. Yes, I can. We will see. We yep. will see. But I, I think that. Uh, yeah, that's. I told you this. Look at that Loctite on there. I think that that is, uh... while you're doing that, I, uh, I shipwrecked a knife. Did you? I did. I shipwrecked a tradition. Like the auction one we did. Mm-hmm. I shipwrecked a tradition and, uh, yep. <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> Don't <laughs> flip the pocket clip on your, on your, uh, Buck Sprint selector round. That is hilarious. We'll put it back on later. No. All right. Oh yeah, God, I shipwrecked right. a, a tradition. And it was. It looked really, really good. I gave it to my buddy Matt for uh, a belated Christmas gift, and yes. he, he dug it. Does it cut better without the pocket clip? No. <laughs> 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 it cuts fine. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> and he's gonna beat the paper into submission now. That's right. Box print select. Uh, Rough Rider of the week. Yes. There was some confusion about this. I, I did the bow trapper this week as one of the uh, kick it or card it. Yeah. And uh, I think there was some confusion that this was printed on the handle no. and that these were glued on dots. Let's, this, 
is from the Tobacco Road series. This is a full-size canoe. I am upset. In that series. Let's With talk about it. For thinking that they were glued on. I know, right? Bunch of silly it people. was only one person. This well, then it, I'm upset with them. Look, so it, I, 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 you know I can do this one yes. just fine. Yeah, you, you know, you're, I'm gonna take a nap. You hit the high point, I sir. Saw, I saw this series when it was first yeah, brought to my desk. <laughs> so this is a uh, the Tobacco Road series. All of the knives in that particular series are 448 stainless steel blades with the heavy swedging that you can see right there, match strike pulls, and half stops. So these blades stop halfway and then they close beyond that. The handles are genuine bone. Uh, they also are dyed that to that dried tobacco leaf yep. color, right? So you have a genuine bone handle. Then this right here is a jigging pattern. It is a special pattern that looks like a tobacco leaf. Mm -hmm. And then all of these little dots, these are copper nail heads. These yep. are not stickers. These are not glued on dots. No, yeah. These are literally like pins. It's just like this pin, except there are little bitty ones. These are hammered in, yep. and then they are basically shaved down so that they um, are smooth against sure. the handle. Yeah. So you're you're buffing those down and all of that. The pins themselves on this are actually nickel silver, not brass, so it wouldn't be confused with the copper. The, the uh, bolsters are also nickel silver, those slant R bolsters. And you don't just get one of these. You get two of these. That's a cool one. one on each side. The liners are brass, and this is just a great little knife from yeah. Rough Rider. I like that whole series, though. They all look that. so good, and the die job on the bone is tremendous. Yeah. Uh, the half stops, it's. I've never carried a canoe. Have you carried a canoe? Um, yes. A long time ago, I carried a canoe for a while. Um, had to port it. From one river to another. <laughs> did you put it on your hand? <laughs> I did. No, I did. I did for a little while. Um, and I, I like, I like the utility of having the two blades. Um, the fact that they're, you know, that they're opposing, countered, opposing, <laughs> shut up. That they're uh, counter to each other. Um, and I, I really, it's rough rider canoe, so it sounds really good and it's snappy as crap. Yeah, and it's thirteen dollars. Exactly. That rough rider canoe, listen, right? Now. Listen. Yeah. That rough rider, that is, and I would say on a pull, oh. of a one to ten pull, that's probably like a three. It is not a hard pull. No. So if you no. have trouble pulling knives, you are not going to have a hard uh -huh. time pulling uh, this particular canoe. Still, so this looks like something you would pull out of a cabinet of antique store. Mm -hmm. Agreed. It has that attention to detail and that feel of of oldness, of antiqueness. I wonder it. if those nail heads are going to patina. They should, but okay. to be honest, they probably wouldn't in my pocket because when I pull it out, I'm going to do yeah, this. Keep rubbing it, and I'm going to rub all the patina off as I mess with it. Right. But I, I adore those patterns. Every single one of these is built by hand and back for life. We handle the warranty at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So if you buy one of these and you don't like how it came to you, and yep. you're not satisfied. We have a 30-day satisfaction guarantee sure. on everything. Get back in touch with us if you find a detail and workmanship that is not right. Yeah. Get in touch with us. We back this with its warranty of lifetime We will make warranty. it right or just refund your money. If you stick this into an electrical socket and it blows up your hand and breaks off the blade, don't get in touch no. with us. Yeah. You should not have done that. Probably not. That's wrong. <laughs> 13 bucks from Rough Rider. We got a great email this week to customer service. They were asking why, and this is a project that I'm working on now, why you'll see some of the Rough Riders on the site have... R I D E R instead of R Y D E R. Sure. We're still in the process of changing over that older line, mm -hmm. um, and we just haven't had time. So originally, so I'm going, yeah, go ahead. No, no. Originally, Rough Rider was with a Y. Yep. It was registered that way. Uh, when we hit the 25th anniversary, we harkened back to that mm -hmm. and went back to the Y. So Rough Rider was originally with a Y for a very long time. It came out with an I. Everything yep. that was made during that period and was already in the works when we made the switch still came in as I, Rough yes. Rider with an I. Beyond that, everything now has a Y. So all of the names and all of the titling on the website is going to change, but if you still find one of those older models, mm -hmm. um, I don't think this one has it on there anymore, does it? Uh, I don't know if that one has that. It should be in the base of the tank. Hang on. Do. That is, that is an eye. So, the knife may still have an eye on it, 
if it's older stock, if it's an older model. But we're going to change all of the verbiage and all the spellings that are textual on the website. All the URLs and all of that will now reflect the R-Y-D-E-R within the next few months. Yeah, and that's not going anywhere. It will continue no, to be either. Rough Rider. Yeah. And some potentially really cool new Rough Rider. Uh, potentially? No, they are really cool. I've seen <laughs> some of them. Any questions, comments, thoughts? Yes. Yes, okay. First off, show the honey badger again, please. Yeah. Honey badger. <laughs> do you want to see it up close? Let's do it. Look at that thing. What is the, do they just want to see it over fantastic. again? It's a D2 yeah. blade. Yeah. We can hit the specs on it it's again. Got the, it's a 3.6 inch worn cleaver at a D2 still, has a satin finish, 0.118 inches thick, manual flipper, thumb hole, ball bearing pivot, which is true for almost all the honey badgers, has a great liner lock on the inside, blue honeycomb textured FRN handles, ambidextra step up pocket clip, and a lanyard hole. Yeah, and it's a deep carry pocket clip as yeah. well. That is that. And you got three honey badgers on each knife. That's right. Or is it four? There's one on the blade, one on the handle, one on the, um, it's three. I don't see any other. There's honey. no one on the back of the blade, is there? No. Okay, yeah. Three honey badgers on each knife. No, just, just in case you forgot <laughs> what your knife was. How's your finger? How's my finger? My finger's doing good. So if you go two, we'll see it up close. Yep. So my finger is fine. It's just like a little valley now. It's going to take a while to heal. But <laughs> is it's, there peace it's, in the valley? There is peace in the valley. It's still <laughs> it's still very tight because I'm that sure just happened right in that stupid wrinkle. It doesn't yeah. hurt. It wasn't any more than a paper cut. It's just annoying. It sucks so bad. Annoying. Though. Don't close a lock back one-handed no. with your fingers in the way, especially if it's spider co. Uh, they're just, sharp. Dink, they're dink, very dink, sharp. Dink. Yes. Knew it as soon as I did it. It was dumb. Dumb. <laughs> it happens, though. Any questions? Other questions? Nope. Again, it's the problem of the number oh. of knives we handle. There yes. was one. Okay. It's on the other screen. Uh, what's the best way to take care of D2? Best way to take care of D2. We were talking about this the other morning sure. when we were, yeah. because there's a whole lot of knives now that are using D2. It is a tool steel. It is. It was originally made to be in uh, wrenches and Sure. Oh, sockets and all that kind of stuff. It will rust. Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. It is a stainless steel, but it will it's rust. It's not going to rust quickly. No. Um, and I would just suggest that you do the same thing that you do for your other pocket knives and that kind of stuff, and that's to take a little coon pee, rub it on there. If you're sure. going to store it anywhere, don't store it in a manner that uh, allows moisture to sit in it. Get some, uh, what are those, sock ups? Sack ups? Yeah, the sack, sack ups. Good, yeah. yeah. Sack ups are a good way to do it. Get some silica jail. Jail. Some silica jail? Yes, <laughs> a silica. I, got, I once went to silica jail. Well, those sack ups are actually, they're actually imbued with silica. Yes, but you can also get um, just the packets of silica gel. And we even sell loose silica in big containers that you can put stuff nice. in. Don't eat it. No. Yes, question. If you were a fruit, what fruit would you be and why? Oh my God. If I were a fruit, what fruit would I Just be? Just to aim for what I eat most of the time, an apple. Nice. <laughs> I got two on my desk. I'm right going to be a kumquat. Don't know why? <laughs> Just going to be a kumquat. <laughs> Back to the other question. Before you coon pee and store your knife, yes, wipe, clean it. Yes, wipe the kumquat right off of your knife. That is the biggest thing. <laughs> When you when you use this, don't leave tape on it like both of oh, us. Oh, I know, right? Don't leave pieces of your skin on it like right. Andy did with that with that spider co or me with you know the other two knives I've stabbed into myself. If you have a display like say for and, and, and most people don't for this kind of knife, but if you have a display case like a glass yes. case that has the velvet backed whatever. You're going to need to take those out of there, clean them, and yes. put them back. You, if you leave them sitting in there, they will become permanently attached to that, and it will it will mess up your knife. And the back of your nice, pretty blue knife will have red on it. Yeah. It blade, it blades, yep. too. It's just blades it's too. bad news. The best thing is some kind of oil. Mineral oil, yeah. coon pee, any of that kind of thing. If you're not going to use it, oil it up and store it. Pull it out every couple months. Look at it, do your thing, if enjoy you it. If you see that it has a little bit of patina, it has a little bit of a change in color, get some case paste, mm -hmm. clean it up. If you have some rust, buy a rust eraser, rust eraser, uh, get the rust off of there, and then it's a tool. Take care of it like a tool. If you don't, yeah. it's going to be like Grandpa's axe that's in your shed that is pitted and scarred and will break on you. I have seen... I have had some D2 knives. We have seen these for a long time. We see them mostly in pristine condition, not that they've been used a lot. I can tell you just straight up, 
that this D2 versus chrome vanadium, say from Case, sure. or 1095, there is no, it's not even close. It is not even close. This is way more stain resistant, oh, yeah. way more rust resistant sure. than a 1095 or a chrome vanadium, uh, or even a T10 that we're now seeing of in course. Rough Rider. Yeah. Those you're going to have to really work at taking care of. You are. Uh, either use them all the time, or when you put them away, make sure you're putting a little oil on them. Buy them with an epoxy coating. Buy them with a DLC coating. Right. That's going to help as well. Yes. But again, like any of them, right. clean them, oil them, care for them. Um, because otherwise you're going to end up buying, you know, you're going to spend 60 some odd dollars for a knife, and 10 years down the road, you're going to go, God, I wish I had taken care of yes. this. And it's yes. all pitted and nasty and scarred up. You get your knife wet, dry it off. Yeah. Yep. Other questions? Nope. Nope. What do you got in your pocket today? Ah, I am rocking a Spyderco. Oh! Love my little Spyderco. Uh -huh. I've had this knife for 20 plus years. Looks like it. Yeah. See, this, don't do this. <laughs> Go to. See the nastiness on that blade? <laughs> don't do that. Uh, um, which knife is that? Is that the Delica? This is a Delica. Um, and They're as not you can doing see, that swedge up in the front of the Delica anymore, are they? Look at the handle on that thing. I know. Just the. It has been beaten yeah, to crap. The weight of yeah. it. But what I was pointing out to him is, and I hadn't seen it. See that swedge right up there at the tip? Yep. Yeah, you're not seeing. That used to be the thing on all of their models. Yeah, you don't see that a lot on any of the blades. That is the only fully serrated knife that I own. That's nice. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this two-handed. <laughs> and then I've also got my work knife with me. Nice. Because uh well <coughs> I like to flaunt it. Flaunt because it. None of you have can have it. None of you can have it. We're getting a new <laughs> iteration of that. Yes, we in, are. And I hope it's coming in soon. But it, I, be, uh, it should be here soon, yeah. We'll hope. Um, I actually found a knife in my backpack that I had forgotten, and this is the Kershaw Link that I cool. bought um, in, uh, look at that, still got some I'm stuff telling this you, morning on it. We are not good knife owners. <laughs> that is a Link with M390 <laughs> steel that I actually got to build at Kershaw's factory last That's year. That's awesome. It was, yeah, it was a fun thing to do. I would not want to sit and do that all the time. I'm just saying. There is a there is a skill to that ability for that type of repetitive, detailed work yeah. that I don't have. Well, this has speed safe assist, and so just figuring out how to get the spring yeah. to drop in there just right. Um, what I love about these links is the um, is the thinness yeah. of the whole knife. It's a, it's a good knife. And then, of course, it's it's four way tip up, tip down, sure. ambidextrous. On the pocket clip. That's good stuff right there from Kershaw. I like it. Kershaw makes, they make great products. What do you got in your pocket today? Did you buy that CRKT? Yes. She got her that tie, that con tie there. compact. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's at my desk. It's Very at cool. her desk. Nice. What else we got? Anything else? Uh, I other than they're pointing out that's Kershaw dividend. Oh, sorry. Dividends. Link. Whatever. It's been in my backpack for a month, three months, six months. <laughs> dividend. So sorry. Other than the fact that you're like, you're wrong. How it is a dividend. Dare you're right. you, sir. It's a dividend with M390. <laughs> with a stonewash finish. You are right. That I got to that is some funny stuff. I got to stick that in a little thing and make it laser the flag on the back. That's awesome. It's done. It's great. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Dividend. Sorry, I knew as I was saying link that was wrong. Evil. I, Evil. I knew it, and I just I was just gonna stick with it. Y'all were mean. I feel like it's <laughs> mean. Just mean. Could have just let me live in my fantasy world, right? Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. Well, you know, we did have the comment this week that said, "How does anybody sort through all this useless drivel to learn anything about knives?" So. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Apparently, a lot of people do. So. I mean, <laughs> folks are watching. We Guys, never claimed. To know anything. <laughs> That's right. I don't even read this before. This is a surprise to me every week, when I, every day, every time, we two times a week. We are not knife experts. We are enthusiasts. We are enthusiasts. We like the sharp and the pointy. That's right. I don't care how much it costs or how little it costs. And sometimes other stuff. Yes. I stole one of those bug assault guns. Yes, question. There's now been two. 
requesting that you give away the three M390 dividends. Not happening. <laughs> Not happening. It's a link, okay? So <laughs> it's a double link. It is linked to my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it is not going away. That would be like that work referee work knife. Leaving my pocket. That's right. No. Not happening. <laughs> I paid my dues. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nunya. Nunya knife. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the show is brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. SMKW.com, the world's largest yes. knife store, both in person and online. For sure. 28,000 products. Yes. And lots of new stuff going up all the time, oh, every Lord. day, happening right now. Josh's team is killing us. He is killing us. He's killing us. Just new stuff. Purchasing, in case you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. We got to do uh, the Easter knives up. Easter knife? Yeah, we took a case of oh, oh, yeah, white yeah, yeah, bone, yeah. Yeah. and we, we made an Easter knife out of it. Nice. We've got a very limited number, but they're yeah. up online. Yeah, I saw it's that. Good looking knife. It is a good looking knife. Yeah. It's got the uh, handle laser etched on a genuine bone handle, mm -hmm. and, and then, the uh, bolster etched. The too. bolster is etched yeah. as well. It's really, really it nice. It turned out really good. Vince and his, his crew downstairs did a good job. Yeah, I think Brian designed that. So, Brian. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, cool. Um, what should we give away? We need something fun to do as the way to enter whatever it is we give away. Um, I can't give away this. There's just not enough of them. I've got an idea for Thursday. We can't do it today, so we can do it a different way on Thursday. Okay. Uh, we're going to take the tops out of the mix, too. It's new from tops. We're going to put the tops back in the mix. Tops. You're with the tops? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to give away the tops poker. 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 I was torn between that and the benchmate, to be honest. So, hashtag poker face. <laughs> If you want to win this, give us the hashtag oh, poker, poker face. face. Poker face is what, what you need to put down. P -p -poker face. I know. I wanted to do it so bad. I wanted to do like three puzz with the H's exactly. on the end and then poker face at the end. I thought, well, that's me. No, that is me. That's me. Oh, you were so close, but you only put two puzz. <laughs> <laughs> that We're going to do that. That's a little Kiridashi from... Um, do it on Twitter and at Lady Gaga into it. At Lady Gaga. I'm sure she would get it too. We'd probably sell her a Topps knife at that point. Be amazing. Nice. Um, anything else before we wrap this thing up? Any other questions, comments? No, they're all doing their poker face at this moment. Guys, Jonathan is back there in the back running Thank the you, board. Jonathan. Melina has been answering all of your questions. This is Jason right here, my co-host of this yes. show. I am Andy. Make sure you're watching Get to the Point. Make sure you're playing Kick It or Card It every single I morning. I love Kick It Card It. Yeah, it, it's telling, right? It in is. certain ways it's that you would not have expected. Amazing information. If you're not following that on Facebook yes. and uh, I've tried to, I've stuck it back on Instagram. I'm you're sorry. I, I did it. I care. I put it back. Yeah. But it's fun. You, you just, I'm well, just going to show you a knife out of again. the showroom every day and it's kick it or card it and uh, tell us what you think. Would you kick it to the curb or put it in your shopping cart? Um, a yeah. lot of fun stuff there. Watch Get to the Point every single day if you want to see some quick knife reviews. That playlist playlist keeps growing yes. every single week. If you want to lose some hours and see a whole bunch of new knives, Ooh, boop, yes. do it. Uh, watch this show on Tuesday. Watch us on Thursday. Get entered to all, all the giveaways and all of that stuff. But you've just watched episode 79 of Guys Talk Knives Live. We will see you on Thursday. I really like that. Now i got to put a knife back together.